Have iPhone will travel to deep Ellum, hot in the 90s, declining in the millennium, but on its way back now, thanks to outstanding restaurants like Il Cane Rosso, Italian for the Red Dog. It came into being because a guy who loved pizza and wanted it done just like Naples hauled a pizza oven all over town, making a name for his thin crust wood-fired creations. It is my absolute favorite pizza in the whole city. The patio has the best view and the breeze and everything is just great. Mm. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. And happy birthday. And happy birthday. Did you ever think you were going to have something this hot in the whole world? I was hoping they would. <laughs> so how many pies are you going to crank out on a Saturday night? We do between 400 and 500. All right. On Friday and Saturday. you got to come try it. It's not like it's not like pizza you've ever had before. You, did you meet uh, Dino? The, he's our new uh, pizza maker from Naples. No, I didn't want to get in his way. He was way too busy. Yeah, he's okay. born and raised in Naples, and he just came out here this week to join us. He's with us full time now. Wow. He's basically taking my spot in the pizza pit. All right. Me. So you could be front of the house. Front of the house, and I can focus on growing the business and putting the metrics in place and make sure we're doing everything right. All right, Jake, keep up the good work, man. All right. All right. Thanks for coming, Jim. Wood-fired sandwiches and pasta dishes are also keeping Cane Rosso rocking. There's a great bar scene at the restaurant, too, but it's the pizza that keeps them coming back for more. Il Cane Rosso is open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Saturday, or call them for takeout. And don't miss the incredible S'mores Calzone for dessert. Whining and Dining with Jim White. Thanks for joining.